Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to see about the process complementary aspect based opinion mining Then comes the abstract of our process Aspect based opinion mining is finding elaborate opinions towards a subject such as a product or an event With explosive growth of opinion text on the web Mining aspect level opinions has become a promising means for online public opinion analysis So in particular the boom of various types of online media provides diverse yet complementary information bringing unprecedented opportunities for cross-media aspect of opinion mining. So along this, we propose a CAMEL that is a cross-collection auto-labeled Maxent LDA, a novel topic model for complementary aspect-based opinion mining across asymmetric collections. So CAMEL gains information complementary by modeling both common and specific aspects Cross collections while keeping all the corresponding opinions for contrastive study, an auto, auto labeling scheme called AME is also proposed to help discriminate between aspect and opinion words without elaborative human labeling, which is for enhanced by adding word embedding based similar is as a new future. Moreover, camel GP, a non parametric after native to camel, is also proposed based on coupled processes. Extensive experiments on real world multi collection reviews data demonstrate the superiority of our methods to competitive baselines. This is particularly when the information shared by different collections before, uh, becomes the seriously fragmented. Then comes the flow diagram of our process. So, this flow diagram shows our process diagrammatically, which we d uh, discussed in abstract. So, here we are. Uh, having the two levels one is the aspect level another one is the opinion level so to find out the aspect level from the data set here we are using the news data set that is the uh, a particular uh, days news or collected as a document data set so here for finding out the aspect we are using the document data set by collecting a particular news so here we are using the news data set so then by uh, then from the document uh, data set we are going to find out the aspects by mining the apps aspects so here when mining the aspects this there comes three process one is the stemming and finding out the word back and the frequency this so stemming is nothing but removing the unwanted words from the documents and finally producing the uh, valid words and collecting uh, for each file so we are having more than more number of documents so we are collecting for each document and uh, saving in the word bank as a whole set of words so then from the words we are going to find out the frequency uh, how much uh, the word was used in the document for the particular news so from that frequency so we are find out the uh, very particular aspects uh, which are used in the our data set so then comes the opinion level so after finding out these result we are going to the opinion level so in opinion level we are going to find out we are going to use the data set news tweets data set so we are uh, we had collected the twitter data set based on the which uh, news we used in the document data set so the news data set uh, news tweets data set contains uh, many tweets by different kinds of users so based on that tweets we are going to find out the opinion based on the words which we mined by uh, using the aspects so the uh, similarity between the aspects and the opinions are checked then comes the run procedure of our process complementary aspect based opinion mining so first we have to run home.java right click and run file so this is our home page for the complementary aspect based opinion mining so click here so here first we are going to find the aspect level so we have to select the data set for the document data set so the document data set contains many files so the file content will be viewed here so then we have to stemming so the stemming process was carrying down once it is finished it will show the words 
here so the stemming process was completed successfully so these are the words taken from the these files so which we loaded so these are the words from the files so this is for the first file so here it uh, the all words uh, which we find out from the files are collected and saved as a set so this is the count of the word bank so here we are going to find out the term frequency so the term frequency is to find out the uh, frequency of the particular words in the files so it is for the first file so like that it will show for all files so for some words the frequency level may high or for the some words the frequency level may low so based on that uh, we are going to find out the valid frequency valid frequency it shows the only uh, the valid frequency so this is for the next file so here this shows the only the valid frequencies it doesn't show the zero values this also shows for each file so this is the frequent words which we find out so based on these words we are going to find out the similarity between the opinion level and the aspect level so the next process so next process is here uh, again we have to select the data set so here we have to select the twitter data set so this is the data set so next we are going to view the word bank so this is the word list which we collected last uh, which has the frequency levels so but from based on these words we are going to find out the related opinions so uh, this is the opinions so here it shows based on the selected words so so there's the, you can see the changes so for the for each particular word it will show the result so that's what uh, we are finding the similarity between the aspect level and the opinion level for the process complementary aspect based opinion mining thank you